I'm Kelly from Art to Remember. I want to show you a few ways that you can easily integrate art into your classroom. This video will focus on math-based art integration. We'll show you some basic concepts, but the ideas can easily be adapted for a variety of grade levels by increasing the complexity and the depth of both the math and art portions of the lesson. Tangrams are a great way to introduce your students to geometry and get them involved in more complex concepts in a hands-on way. For younger students, you can use the tangrams to identify and classify different shapes, and with other students, you can use them to calculate area or show orientation on a coordinate plane. To turn this into an art lesson, you'll just need a few more supplies, paper and pencil, and either markers, crayons, or watercolors. For this example, we're gonna use crayons, pencil, and watercolors. Using the tangrams, we're gonna make geometric animals. You will start by encouraging your students to play around with the tangrams and see what shapes or animals that they can make out of their set. You may even want to provide sample cards like these to help them along. Once they've decided on an animal, have the student trace each individual shape. Depending on the type of art you'd like to create, you could also have the students just trace the outline of the animal to make a silhouette. Next, have students remove the tangrams and trace over the pencil and crayon. They can also add in additional background elements like a horizon line and some small plants. Then we will fill in all of the white space with watercolor. The crayon outline should help younger students keep the watercolors within the lines. If watercolors aren't an option for your students, this lesson can easily be adapted to work with crayons, markers, or even colored pencils. You may want to have them finish the piece by outlining their animal in black. Let's look at a few examples. Yeah, I'm 